Federal prosecutors are considering a takeover of New York City's Department of Correction. That's after allegations of inhumane conditions in some city jails, like Rikers Island. NTD's Ariane Pazdar has more. Two federal prosecutors say they are shocked by the violence they see in New York City jails. They sent a letter to a federal judge talking about a possible takeover of New York City's Department of Correction by an independent agency if conditions don't improve. At least 16 inmates died in Rikers Island alone in 2021. They say if New York City Hall doesn't do more to change the situation, they'll be left with no other option but to seek more aggressive relief. It's a little premature to uh, suggest that they're going to take it over at this stage. Mark Ruskin is a former assistant district attorney for Brooklyn, FBI agent and author of The Pretender. He says next week a conference will be held where progress regarding fixing New York City jails will be discussed. He says the mayor and the Department of Correction Commissioner were not present at the last conference, so the two federal prosecutors are using the letter to build pressure. And now they're trying to make sure that there is representation from the mayor's office and that the Commissioner of Corrections do, does attend the conference so that serious progress can be made in terms of, in, of instituting reforms at the prison. He added that he thinks the mayor actually wants to see change in New York City's prisons. In all fairness to the mayor, he's only been in office for a couple of months. So he hasn't, uh, you know, I would suggest that he really hasn't had uh, the time or the opportunity to really acquaint himself with the situation. Talks about reforming or closing Rikers Island have been going on for almost a decade now. Many complain that no progress is being made. Arian Pastar, NTD News, New York.